This is the new X Mighty Air wireless stereo practice amp for both guitar and bass. It has the drum machine, it has amp modeling, it has pedal modeling. In this video, I'll talk about the features, I'll demonstrate some sounds, and at the end of the video, I'll give you my honest opinion about it. So let's get started. Vlad here, welcome to my studio. Today we're checking out the new X Mighty Air practice amp. The new X Mighty Air is a bit heavier and physically bigger than the Mighty Lad BT, which is obvious because it has two drivers and a passive bass driver in the middle as well. And it also has a built-in rechargeable battery. There's a USB-C port back here. And based on my time with the amp, a month or so, I would say the new X estimations of like 16 to 18 hours of battery runtime really hold up. I think I've charged this thing once or twice during the whole time. And when I said this amp is wireless, it truly, truly is wireless because unplug this, plug it into your guitar, hit the button on the side, turn it on and hit the receiver button over here so it starts receiving. There's a built-in receiver in this and you can play wirelessly with this. No problem at all. It also charges the plug thingy by just plugging it over here and that is just incredibly, incredibly cool. Let's start with the physical controls on the top of the app itself, but I have a suspicion that most of you will actually want to use it with the app just because it expands it so vastly and allows you to control many, many more parameters than what you can do just from here. But a quick look, input, you can also use a regular guitar cable there, obviously. Then there's a receiver button that you need to click on when you're using this plug thingy. Then channel selector, there's four different channels. Acoustic simulation, clean, kind of overdrive, and high gain, gain volume tone, and delay slash reverb controls. You can control the drum machine over here. And the drum machine also has separate volume control. Yeah, tap button for delay, tapping, or tapping in the drum tempo, really cool. The phone's output, aux in, if you want to use a cable to kind of stream your music through it, that works as well. Power button, and that's it really. On the back side, there's a USB-C connection, and that's it. And unless I'm forgetting something, the amp does ship with a USB-C to USB-2 cable. So that's a really nice touch as well. And I'm just looking at the little screen of my camera and notice that, hey, you can see the top cap over here. Well done, Vlad, very professional. All right, let's get into the part that you're probably most interested in, which is the amp plus the app, plus the sound and all of that. First of all, SM58, Lewitt MTP440 are uh, doing the micing or like capturing the stereo thing. The microphones are panned hard left and hand right. So you, if I'm using like stereo effects, you should be able to hear them on the sides. And I'm also blending in the road. 
MTG2, which is like a meter and a half away from the amp, to capture what's happening here in the room and what my ears are hearing more than what the closed up microphones are hearing. Yeah, so basically what you're hearing is the mixture of the three. Later we'll check out the headphone out as well with a cable over there. But to the amp, we are on the clean channel, twin reverb, let's just hear it first. There's some reverb going on as well. Second clean amp, JZ120. Much darker, much thicker, that's the Jazz Chorus by Roland. Tweet Deluxe. Whoa, there's some gain on happening. Let's go to the bridge humbucker. As you probably noticed, the amount of controls also varies depending on the amp simulation you're using. Whoa, this is really good. Haven't actually tried this properly yet. Yeah, that <laughs> sounds really good. As I already mentioned, there's different effects. There's a touch wah that you can add to this sound from the effects section. Fun Univibe. I'm not sure what these microphones are capturing, but that sounds really good from a tiny amp like that. Uh, what else? Fuzz! That's a fuzz sound. IR, you can change the cabinet over here. And obviously that makes a huge difference. So let's go with, this is probably the 4x12, uh, like a 1960 Marshall cap. <laughs> I don't think I'm clipping. Nope, I'm not clipping anyway. So this really lets you play around because you can blend like a Tweed Deluxe with a 4x12 cap, which is really cool. Same amp. Different cabinet. This is Deluxe Reverb 112 cabinet. Completely different sound. It's probably the Mesa 4x12. I think you get the idea. Let's go with... That's probably like a Vox cabinet. On the modulation side, there's phaser chorus, stereo chorus. Let's try that out, out just so you can hear the stereo effect. Pretty impressed with the effects. They sound good. Today. Sounds like analog delay to me. Mm -hmm. 
something like that. I don't know what I'm going for. Ping pong. Reweb section, there's room, hall, plate, spring. Do I really need to demonstrate all of this? Because I think you can get the idea even without me doing that. Let's move on to the OD channel. Yep, that's definitely a plexi. Uh. Top Boost 30 is a Vox AC 30. That's a very presency sound. Can need to be a little bit careful with the presets because some of them are on like slightly extreme settings or maybe they were kind of set with a completely different type of guitar. This is a pretty bright guitar. Maybe this preset was made with a Les Paul or something. But as you can tell, you can quickly adjust everything through the app and it works really well. And if you want to save the OD channel, just hit save. It's getting device data, which is kind of funny because it isn't it supposed to send the data there? I don't know. But now when we go to the OD channel, there's our top boost channel. Distortion. Fireman, I strongly suspect that's like an angle fireball. My preset might have, yeah, there's a tube scream in front of it. And with Again, you get the idea. Acoustic simulation. So there's two different acoustic amps and I think you can simulate different guitars. Hummingbird, G, G bird. That's not too bad, to be honest. All right, let's move on to the bass section. This is my Harley Benton enhanced five string bass with a humbucker and a jazz style pickup in the neck. On the app, let's go to a pop setting apparently and First of all, you notice depending on your bass, this is an active bass and puts out quite a lot of volume. You might want to back down the gain right away. As you might hear, there's a bit of chorus going on on this preset.
Sounds good. Let's go to the amp section. There's two different bass amps. AGL Aguila. And in the effects section, looks like, well, there's a bass tube screamer. That's cool. <laughs> That's the bass setting for you. As you can see, I again have a guitar with me. Let's go to the drums. The master volume you see over here is the master volume for drums. Which allows you to get the, exactly the level of drums you want to have, so you'll get a nice mix of the guitar and the drums. Let me quickly take you through all of the drums. That's actually fun, like you can get inspired by different kind of grooves. Come on. Shuffle blues. Then, this is one of the cool things I loved about the Mighty Light BT and all of that stuff is here as well. There's a bunch of backing tracks that come with the app itself. If you want to control the level of the backing track, you use your phone's volume controls. And, and then you can use the edit section of the app to match the volume of your guitar to that backing track. So again, you have the ability to balance the tube, which is really, really cool and useful. What key is this in? are these artist backing tracks you heard me play to this track in the video in the beginning of the video that's how you say it this is a really cool backing track i like it and that's bunch of others as well One last thing, as you can tell, the amp has moved over there because I'm using the headphone out, using the stereo out and going into the two channels of my Apollo Twin over there. And if you're wearing headphones, this is how this setup would sound with headphones. <laughs> Thank you. 
something like that. You can also have the gem checks. Let's see what this is. So I think it's starting to be pretty obvious that I like the amp. It's small, it sounds good enough, and I want to emphasize the word good enough for practice, both on guitar and on bass. So you need to balance the levels a little bit so the tiny speakers can handle it, but as you could see, it's doable. And the fact that it's wireless is kind of freeing. I've had this in our living room, sitting on a shelf, and whenever I feel like playing guitar, I just grab one of my guitars and plug the output thingy into my guitar and I'm good to go right away. Really handy. I've also used it in a kitchen quite a bit, just listening to podcasts and music while I'm cooking or cleaning the dishes or anything like that. I don't think all of the amp simulations, everything sound amazing, but again, it's a practice amp and they're all good enough. And yeah, it does all of the things that it's kind of supposed to do. And that's the most important thing. I don't know anything in the price range of this amp that can beat it feature-wise, sound quality-wise, anything like that. I think this is a really, really nice kind of entry-level amp. It's simple enough to use from here, but you can go really in-depth with the app as well. If you give this to someone who's just starting to play guitar, this is really cool because there's enough functions just on the amp control panel itself and it doesn't get too complicated and you don't get overwhelmed right away. Three different channels plus the acoustic side, you can get access to drum machines, reverb and delay, and that's a great way to start playing. And then when you wanna go in depth, just connect to this thing via your phone and that's it. But yeah, overall, I think it's a fantastic amp. You get a lot for the money. This video, by the way, isn't technically sponsored by New York. I don't get paid to do this video, but I get to keep the amp. So if you think that makes my opinion biased, everything I just said is my personal view of how I see this thing. I think it's good. And if you want one of these, follow the links below in the description. There's a link to Thoman and Reverb Store as well. So use one of those to get yours. But yeah, if you like this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think. And if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the subscribe button, notification bell, all of those things. You can support me by getting Adpix Studios shirts or apparel mugs stuff like that catpick studios jam tracks as well links below in the description thanks for watching this video i shall see you next time <laughs>